Hello students. In the previous video, we have seen the geometric constructions of similar triangles. Now, we will see the constructions related to the circle. Here, in the uh, 4.2, practice it 4.2, we will see how to draw tangent to the circle. Let's see the examples. Practice it 4.2. Question number one. Here we have to draw a circle with radius 3.2. Radius 3.2, and we have to take a point M on it, and we have to draw a tangent from that point M. Now see, I am going to take a distance between the two tips of compass that is 3.2 and here I am going to fix the center of circle here and now I will draw a circle of given radius. This is this is the circle with given radius. See, this is the circle with given radius. Now, we have to take point M on the circle. First, I will draw a line passing through center and intersecting the circle. Here is that point, uh, line. Now, here my point M is and I have to draw tangent to the circle at point M. Now see the procedure how to draw tangent. When you know where to draw tangent to the circle here in that point you have to take a distance between two tips of compass take any distance. Here I have taken the distance and both sides of the line I will find the marks or arcs. Now we got these two new points. Now I will take this point and I will take approximate distance between two tips of compass here and I will draw a, an arc here and here. Same distance I will put here and draw an arc there and here. Now I will join those two crossing points of arcs here see and this is the tangent drawn at point M you have to show the radius here 3.2 centimeter and this is the tangent same is the second example here we have to take the radius of 2.7 cm and take any point on the circle and we have to draw uh, the tangent from that point. Now I am going to take the distance 2.7 between the two tips of compass. Now I am going to fix the center of the circle and I am drawing the circle here is the circle now again I will draw a line passing through center and crossing the circle here is that line I am going to I have drawn now here is the point where I want to draw the tangent to the circle now, again same procedure, I will take an approximate distance between two tips of compass. Now, I am finding the marks with the same distance. Now, we got two different points. Here, I will take the steel tip on this point and draw an arc with the same distance. I am going to draw here. Now again, I am going to I am going to uh, 
draw an arc. Here. Now I will join these points and I will find the uh, this one is here and this is the tangent drawn to the circle. Now again I will uh, draw radius and here I will write three point sorry two point seven centimeters. Now in the third example we have to draw a circle of 3.6 cm radius and we have to take any point on the circle and from that point we have to draw tangent but in the previous two examples we have used the center of the circle but in the third example we have not to use the center of the circle so see how to draw now i am again taking 3.6 cm distance between the two tips of compass I have taken it now I have fixed the center of the circle now I am going to draw I am going to draw the circle here this is the circle now I have to now I will not use this center I am going to draw tangent here therefore I have fixed the point here let O be the center of the circle P be the point where I want to draw the tangent now I am going to draw and I am going to draw a triangle having the that point as a vertex as a vertex now draw any triangle of any majors in the circle but uh, remember that point where you want to draw the tangent that point will be one of the vertices of the circle here that point is now see to draw the tangent we have to find uh, see here is the tangent and we know the property of uh, inscribed angle here the major of inscribed angle this inscribed angle is half of the intersected arc and again uh, he, if this is the angle major of this is also half of this arc therefore this triangle angle and this angle both of these two angles are congruent therefore we have to draw the angle of this major at this place now see the procedure for that drawing the angle of given major here here is the angle I am drawing an arc to the given angle again I am using the same major and drawing an arc now I will take the distance of these two points between the compass and by using that distance I am now putting the steel tip here and crossing the previous arc now that point and the given point I will draw tangent here See, this is the tangent at point P Now see the fourth example where we have to draw a circle of radius 3.3 cm. Here I am going to find the distance between two tips of compass that is 3.3 cm. Here I am going to fix the center of the circle and by putting the steel tip on that center of the circle I am going to draw the circle. here the circle is now we have told that we have to take 6.6 .6 cm cord in the circle here I am going to draw a cord of 6.6 .6 cm I am going to fix the distance 6.6 .6 cm in the two tips of compass and now I will uh, take a point, one point of cord P here 
and we will find the q point by using the given distance i am going to find that is here is the q point and i got the chord pq of 6.6 cm this is 6.6 cm this is the center now i have to draw such a two lines passing through the points and the end points of the chords here are the two rays which i have drawn here i am also going to use the center of the circle to draw the tangents at the both point, uh, ends of chords here again the same activity which we have did in question number 1 and 2 here i am going to put the steel tip and draw two arcs on both sides of it now i am increasing the distance between two tips and i am putting the steel tip here and drawing an arc here drawing an arc here again i am going to put the steel tip here drawing an arc here drawing an arc here now i will join those two arcs uh, crossing point of arcs here and see this is the tangent which i have drawn through p similarly i can draw the tangent at point q here i am going to take now again i am going to put now i'm joining these points here now see here here this activity tells us that we can draw the tangents to the circle from two points of chords in it